ambushed after work. Detroit police looking for a local nurse kidnapped after leaving her hospital shift. Detectives scouring the man, the city for this man. He's the suspect believed to have forcefully kidnapped a woman early this morning. Detroit police hoping for the woman's safe return soon. Around 7.40 a.m. on May 13th, in the 4200 block of St. Antoine Street, outside of the Detroit Receiving Hospital, a woman was walking to her vehicle and entering the driver's side when an individual with a blonde wig approached her out of nowhere. For a local nurse kidnapped after leaving her hospital shift. The missing woman was quickly identified as 29-year-old mother and nurse, Patrice Wilson, who had been abducted after finishing up an overnight shift at the Detroit Medical Center. According to the Detroit police captain, Donna McCord, an individual in a blonde wig approached Patrice as she was getting into the driver's side of her vehicle, then forcefully placed her inside of her black 2020 Lincoln Nautilus before fleeing the scene. The suspect was quickly identified as Patrice's ex-boyfriend, 36-year-old Jameer Miller, who, according to her mother, became obsessive after Patrice decided to break things off. Her mother said nothing seemed out of the ordinary when she spoke to her daughter earlier that morning until she received a call from an individual stating that while on the phone with Patrice, she began screaming and then the phone went dead. The terrifying news sent Patrice's mother into a panic, saying that she couldn't stomach the thought of losing another child. Back in 2003, she lost her 15-year-old son who was hit by a car as he was riding his bike. To this day, his killer has never been found. Patrice Wilson was leaving work at the DMC when the suspect allegedly forced her into her own car. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian bringing us the latest on this mystery. I got a call. Uh, someone said they were talking to Patrice on the phone and they heard her screaming. Patrice Wilson's phone went dead after that, according to her mom. Police say Wilson was headed to her car after an overnight shift at Detroit Medical Center when she was ambushed by a man. He approached our victim as she was getting into her driver's side of her vehicle. He then got inside of the vehicle, forced her over, and fled with her inside. The suspect is 36-year-old Jameer Miller, according to police. Rosalind Livingston says he was her daughter's ex-boyfriend and a bit obsessive. The more she pulled away, uh, he was sending flowers. If you go by her house, there's things at her door that she kind of like left there to let him know that I'm not accepting things from you. This is a picture of Miller driving off with Wilson. According to police, the car is a 2020 Lincoln Nautilus with a Michigan license plate number OPKS20. She's a very good talker. She's a very good reasoner person. So maybe she's trying to reason with him and, and to talk talk him into letting her go. Livingston says she can't stomach the thought of losing another child. Back in 2003, I lost a son. He was riding his bike and he was 15 years old and a car hit him. I don't know today who did that. So, yeah, I'm dealing with a lot right now. In her mom's eyes, Wilson was perfect, quiet, studious, and a good mother. I just wanted her to come home so she can see her son tomorrow's Mother's Day. Timing. It's like when it rains, it pours. The morning after Patrice was abducted, Mother's Day, a body was located just 30 minutes outside of Detroit in the back seat of an SUV at an apartment complex in Novi, off of Agaty Road between 9 and 10 mile roads. Moments ago, police confirmed the body of Patrice Wilson has been found. She is the Detroit nurse who investigators say was kidnapped leaving work yesterday morning. Let's get out to our Megan Woods with the very latest on this. Megan. A rod, Priya, just a disturbing and heartbreaking update to this case. As you mentioned, Patrice Wilson now confirmed dead. Now, what sources are telling us is that uh, that 29 year old was found shot in the back of an SUV that was parked in her Novi apartment complex off of Haggerty. Here's what we know leading up to her death. Patrice was last seen around 740 yesterday morning near Detroit Receiving Hospital where she worked 
Police say the nurse had just gotten into her car in a parking lot near the hospital when a man jumped in and police say that man is suspect Jameer Miller. Uh, he's said to be armed and dangerous and still out there. So if you have any information, you're asked to call Detroit police. We're still gathering so much information and at the top of uh, seven o'clock, uh, we will have another report to tell you what you know, what we know. But as right now, we are still gathering details, but what we do know is is Patrice Wilson is now confirmed dead. She was found shot in an, a trunk of an SUV in her apartment complex in Novi. As of right now, the whereabouts of 36-year-old Jameer Miller remain unknown. Anyone with information leading to his whereabouts or arrest is encouraged to come forward. The case remains ongoing.